New tonight, a flight so short and so small, the average Michigander will probably never see it in their lifetime. For around 10 days out of the entire year, the Mitchell Seder flutters around. And Fox 17 Sam Landstro went looking for this rare butterfly at a Berrien County Nature Center. He has more on their continued conservation efforts. For nearly two hours today, we searched for the Mitchell Seder and we found one, a female, right as we were walking back. The butterfly is so rare, even a single sighting is big. Yep, here she comes. This is a fen a groundwater fed wetland habitat near Benton Harbor. Have you seen her flapping in front of me yet? Home to the Mitchell Seder. Okay, she just settled down, so I'm gonna let folks get over here before I start messing. The critically endangered butterfly can be found in less than 20 places on Earth. Surrette Nature Center is one of them. And the Mitchell Seder is the clue that something's gone wrong. Water. Um, well, it didn't pose for a picture Friday. Nate Fuller has been looking after them for much of his life. And if we can crack the code to understand what it takes to support the Mitchell Seder, maybe we can heal these places. Oop. Soft spot. A canary in the coal mine, the Seder's struggle speaks to the health of Michigan's wetlands. I'm not that old and to witness extinction events in my lifetime really horrifies me. Fewer and fewer are able to support it. Around eight now in Michigan. Seeking to bring it back from the brink, the Nature Center studies their population. Why do you care about a little brown butterfly? Looking to see where and why they survive in this fen. It's not about those practical things. It's not a contractual relationship. This is one of the parts of the world that was here for thousands of years. Fuller believes the death of this butterfly is not inevitable. Saving the Mitchell Seder from extinction is entirely possible. And it says its life is bigger than its two small wings. Understanding the Mitchell Seder is understanding our groundwater, it's understanding our water security. Let's figure it out before it's too late. In Benton Township, Sam Lanstra, Fox 17 News.